Hey, what's going on, Funko lovers all over the world? You already know who it is. It's your favorite in it, Sweaty. Your boy, Mike is Savage 21, bringing you another Funko Pop unboxing. And today, we're going to be doing a Funko boxing of Momo Yaoyozo, Irojira Kirishima, and Fumikage Tokoyami. Make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so we're going to be doing the new My Hero Academia Funko Pops. And I'm going to go ahead and say up front, I'm probably going to pronounce a lot of names wrong, but I don't speak Japanese, so you'll have to forgive me. But before we get into the video, I want to ask you to do a couple of things for me. As always, please make sure if you like the content and you want to see more, you subscribe. Of course, make sure you tap the bell so you be notified every time I video drop please make sure you either smash the like button or smash the thumbs down button either way the feedback is appreciated and then of course make sure you go and follow me on all the social media platforms at official ms21 but without further ado let's get to our main stars for today all right we're gonna be doing the new my hero academia set now originally i had recorded this video but didn't like the way it turned out so i said i just re-record it plus the rest of my funko pops that i had ordered uh minus the new mizuku idoria hasn't gotten here yet but all the rest of them are here so i figured why not just go ahead and do the video now especially now that the first episode of season four has dropped which don't leave any spoilers down below i know really nothing happened but yeah I still don't leave any spoilers down below for anybody who hasn't had a chance to watch it yet like i said we're gonna be doing an unboxing of momo of kiroshima and tokoyami tokoyami actually just got a metallic version that was just announced it's gonna be a pop tea bundle as always it's at gamestop uh it'll be the same funko pop but just metallic so yeah you guys go and pick that up i'll leave a link down below so you can go and get them as well as leave a link down below so you can go and pick all of these up these are common funko pop so they are available pretty much everywhere hot topic gamestop anywhere that they normally sell Funko Pops you should be able to pick up a pair of these but all right let's get to unboxing Momo all right so what do I really have to say about Momo of course her quirk is permeation which allows her to create things using the lipids in her body and then of course along with that she has to wear a special hero outfit when they get outfits made they have to have special outfits and everything made for their quirks case in point here is momo and you know if you look at her yeah she's got a very revealing top and once again for all of you who want to know no it is not articulated i feel like every time we have one of the characters come out that's got like a revealing outfit on i feel like a lot of people are gonna ask but this is what i meant about her outfit you see like how her skin and everything thing is showing she needs her skin to be exposed like that because this is how her quirk works she's able to pull things out of her body using the different amounts of lipids that she has and so momo is an interesting character uh she hasn't gotten too much spotlight they had an episode dedicated to her that was basically filler she hasn't really done anything that's too standoutish i think the thing that most people remember her for is of course when she went against uh tokoyami she wasn't really using her head and so she ended up losing but if she would have you know stayed calm and focused she would have been able to beat him and then of course going back and looking at the funko pop once again great attention to detail look you can, with her hair and everything uh, it's big and bushy and you can't tell where the lines are which is so awesome again you got like her hero outfit down to the t now i noticed when i got this one at first there was like a little bit of a line mistake but that was just a refraction from that actual box it's flawless so yeah she's really cool all right so let's get to our next character we're gonna be doing kiroshima and his quirk he has the hardening quirk where he basically can turn his body as hard as steel or as hard as rock basically usually when he transforms and when he powers up it resembles that of rocks so you know when i think of his quirk i always think of like a rock hardening quirk but some people could per you know say it's a little harder than rock it could be comparable to something like steel but i really think he's really cool and i think uh i love how they have the the r for red riot that's actually his name um he got that from crimson riot which is like a famous pro hero he looks up to uh, when he was younger and who he still currently looks up to. And he's basically who he based his, his outfit around, his whole aesthetic and everything, even the spikiness of his hair. And so when I recorded the other video about him, I went a little bit into his backstory talking about what made him decide he wanted to become a pro hero. Uh, long story short, um, he had this friend. Uh, she's a girl who has the acid quirk. Uh, I'm not going to say her name because I think I got it wrong last time, but I believe it's Ashido. They went to 
to school together. There was a guy who showed up and he was new. I don't think he meant anything by it, but he came off as kind of brutish and tough. And he was trying to ask these schoolgirls that were at the school where his class was. They couldn't answer quick enough. So he got a little bit frustrated. So then Kiroshima saw this and he froze. And so what happened is Ashido ended up coming up to him, confronting him and telling him, hey, this is where your class is. I don't know if she really pointed him in the right direction, but she stopped him from harassing anybody else. And in that moment, he decided that he wanted to be a hero, a hero who is manly as manly can get and never runs away from a fight. So that's one thing about Kirishima. He's not the type of dude to run away from a fight. He's always going to be willing to put his life on the line, especially for his friends. Uh, like we saw with when they had to uh, rescue Bakugo from the League of Villains, he was willing to go and help his buddy and save him, even though it meant, you know, possibly getting suspended. But again, here's a good look at him. Again, look at all the, the different ridges and stuff that you can see in his arm and everything. And again, his overall outfit and his spiky hair. It's real cool. And then I love how with the outfit on, it looks like he has two horns and everything resembling that of like a devil or a monster. So let's get to the next one. All right. And our last one is Fumakaki Tokoyami. And of course, his quirk is just simply called Dark Shadow. And I'll show you exactly what that means. It basically, he has a shadow that lives inside of his body and he can control the shadow like at will. Think of it in a way, almost like Gara Sand in a way. Here he is. Um, here is Dark's Dark Shadow right there coming out of his backside and everything from up under his cloak uh, where he usually like lingers and stuff. Um, and then, of course, here is Tokoyami himself. He's really cool. He He's an interesting character. And I got to say, it's kind of cool that they decided to do a Funko Pop of him. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I wish they would have did him with and without the cape. But that's probably asking for too much, especially since we're getting a metallic version of him. Um, but I like his overall aesthetic. He had he's like that emo kid that everybody knows in school. That's like real angsty and everything. Um, he's that kind of character, but he's able to use that to his strengths. He, you know, stays in the darkness. But what's so cool about him is his quirk has a little bit of a backfire to it. Like with most quirks, if you overuse it, there can be kind of consequences to it. Like uh, Momo, for instance, if she uses too much of the lipids in her body, it causes her to pass out and become faint. Kiroshima, he can only stay hardened for so long and can only take so much force damage or so much brunt damage or blunt force, I should say. And the same thing is with him. When the more dark that he is in, the worse dark shadow becomes. So like at nighttime, if he was to go out at night and try to train, or if he was to try to like just battle somebody just like just to spar with them, he would really have a hard time controlling Dark Shadow because again, the darker it becomes, the more active Dark Shadow becomes. At one point, it got to the point when we got to like the uh, training arc when they were in the forest and everything and League of Villains attack, Dark Shadow actually uh, took over Tokoyami's body and he could not control him. In that moment, you know, everyone's trying to get him to calm down and the only thing that can calm him down is light. But you gotta admit, that is actually a pretty cool power up to be able to control like this living dark shadow that's like a part of you. But at the same time, it's also like a like a curse essentially because you're forced to deal with this force that lives inside of you. And the more you draw yourself to the dark, the more it consumes you. Kind of like that whole aesthetic. But again, let's get one last look at all our heroes before I put them up. Again, here's Tokoyami. Again, here is Kiroshima. And here is Momo one last time. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Again, it might be kind of long, but I decided I wanted to do them together because there's not really much to say if you try to do a whole individual video. But if you guys want more info on them, there's a guy named Taking 101 on YouTube. He actually did My Hero Academia episodes for every single one of the Class 1A members, um, including the ones that I did today. So I'll leave links to his videos so you can go and check them out. But all right, guys, 
again thank you so much for checking out this video like i mentioned up top make sure you subscribe make sure you tap the bell of course give this video a like or a thumbs down either way the feedback is appreciated and then of course as always go and follow me on all the social media platforms at official ms21 like i mentioned in my video that dropped yesterday guys the road to 4k we're trying to get 4,000 subscribers please subscribe please subscribe please share this video out especially if you're a fan of my hero academia and then of course again let me know what you thought of season four of my hero academia episode one premiered yesterday i watched it on crunchyroll briefly gave my thoughts online i thought it was really cool it was a, just a good opening intro just to get everybody introduced to what's going on but let me know down below what you thought of the episode and what you thought of these Funko Pops. Again, links will be in the description to pick up all of these. Thank you again and happy Funko hunting, guys. Peace out.